If your business isn't working, there's seven pivots that I believe you can take in order to find where that right fit is for customers. And it should be done in the following sequence, in my opinion, in, in my experience. Starting off with the most senior, which is changing the problem that you're solving for customers. It's a problem pivot. You tried solving problem A, but that problem wasn't deep enough. People weren't ready to pay money for this. So you go to problem B. Next one is solution pivot. You found the right problem to solve. It's deep. People want to pay money to solve it. Don't want to pay money for your particular solution. So you can change like... The the actual product offering. Third, customer segment pivot. Problem and solution are correct. It's deep. People are ready to pay money for it. It's just not the right type of customer. And you navigate to a different type of customer who might have that problem and try it with them. Next one is a funnel pivot. Are you using an application funnel? Are people finding out about you through a webinar that you're running? So what is the funnel that you're using? And there's lots of different variants of these funnels you can get. Is it a free product that you're offering and then converting a freemium user? So try a different funnel. Try a different channel. That's next. Channel pivot. You go from using Facebook ads to using, I don't know, Google ads or Snapchat ads. There's a variety you can try. Pricing pivot. You can go up market to a more expensive customer. Go down market. Or lastly, and the smallest one here is then the messaging pivot. You reach the right set. You've reached the right customer with the right product at the right price point with the right funnel. It's just the customer it isn't understanding the value of your product. And by changing the messaging, you can convey this. But by and large, almost everyone needs to start off on, on problem pivot.